you don't need an appointment and you don't need to be a techie to set up and activate your Midco Wi-Fi service. To get started, make sure you have the following items ready to go before installing your new equipment. Midco Wi-Fi app installed on your phone and your Midco My Account login and password. If you haven't created your password for your My Account login yet, either find the email we sent you when you ordered your equipment or visit midco.com forward slash my account and click forgot password to get it set up. Now you're ready to install. Take all of the equipment out of your Midco Wi-Fi kit. The kit will include a modem, power cord, coax cable, ethernet cable, and pod or pods. Additional items such as a coax splitter and additional ethernet cords may be included. Have them available if needed. First, connect the coax cable finger tight to the modem and then to a coax wall outlet in a centrally located spot in your home. Once done, connect the power cord to the modem and to an active power outlet. The modem will take up to 15 minutes to connect to the Midco network. Once all the lights on the modem stop flashing and remain solid, you're ready for the next step. To install the first pod, connect the ethernet cable from the modem to the pod. If your modem has two ports, use the one labeled 1, which is closest to the outside edge. On the pod, if you see a globe icon next to one of the ethernet ports, connect the cable to that one. If you don't have a globe icon, either one will work. Plug your pod into an active power outlet on an inside wall if possible. If you have a network switch for connecting other devices via ethernet, connect it to power and connect it to the other port on your first pod. Grab your phone and make sure that Bluetooth is turned on and be within a few feet of the first pod that you connected. Open the Midco Wi-Fi app and tap sign in. Log in using your Midco My Account credentials, which is the email address you provided us and the password that you created. Follow the on-screen instructions provided in the app. These will guide you through the setup process. You'll need to enter your first and last name and then continue. Next, you'll set up your home's Wi-Fi name and password. If you had a Wi-Fi network name and password set up on another modem or router, you can set this up using the same information or create a completely new Wi-Fi network name and password. Note that your password must be at least eight characters. Make it secure and not too easy. If you have additional pods, connect them to active power outlets and follow instructions in the app. Additional pods should be connected at least 15 to 20 feet from the first pod and placed on inside walls without a lot of obstructions around them. Once all your pods are connected, tap on Done Adding Pods and complete any remaining setup options in the app. The app may prompt you to connect to your new Midco Wi-Fi network connection. If not, simply choose your Wi-Fi and connect to it. If you changed your Wi-Fi network name and or password, you'll need to connect all of your devices in your home to the new connection. If you kept your existing Wi-Fi network name and password, your devices should connect to the new Wi-Fi connection that you just completed the setup for. Thanks for watching and enjoy your Midco Wi-Fi. Find more resources for using the app for parental controls, troubleshooting, and more at midco.com forward slash Midco Wi-Fi.